Hey look everyone, extreme makeover. <laughs> well, I've always wanted a House of Knives playmat, but unfortunately FFG isn't making one, so I guess I'll ha just have to do it myself. So here it is. Um, now I'm trying my Gundo Scotch deck against a Noise. Uh, noise is probably the hardest counter to my Gundo deck because Noise um, <coughs> does very bad things to Jackson, forcing you to use Jackson when you least want to, and sniping off combo pieces from your hand using him. So yes, uh, the destructive nature of noise proves to be horrible for my combo style deck, which means that I'll have to try as hard as possible to win via agenda points. So, uh, but that's not easy either because uh, most of the eyes that my cheap eyes that protects uh, my agendas are usually zero strength. Quadri is zero strength. Um, Chimera, which I just used to protect Jackson, is also zero strength. Ice Wall is one strength and can be easily destroyed uh, instantly by a Grimoire Parasite. So yes, a lot of bad news bears for me. Um, I think this was a very important turn. I forgot to use subliminal messaging and... Oh, no wait, no. Uh, it wasn't this turn. This turn I just fortified my position by uh, getting credits. And... Yeah, next turn I was looking to score the hostile takeover, but um, first I need to worry about the parasite on my enigma. Well, not really. I score the hostile takeover immediately, and this is where I forget to play the subliminal message. Very important. It's so important to play it. Um, I'm quite happy that I'm not actually agenda flooded from HQ and that he doesn't have any account siphons. Um, if the enemy is a criminal, it will definitely slow my deck down because it forces me to ice up HQ. You rather much, you much rather spend your eyes protecting and uh, your remote, your scoring remote, as opposed to using wasting your HQ. You you can let them rampage on HQ for all you care. I don't really care. Um, but now I kind of do because he's about to score the cleaners. But first he sees the accelerated diagnostics and trashes it. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it's still rather early on in the game. Although, yes, having a key combo piece trash from my hand isn't very fun at all. And of course, he hits the cleaner, so now he's on 3 points instantly. Um, I'll try to get more mileage out of my Jackson. I still see no agendas, so it's time to protect my remote server, ready it for scoring. I completely ignore R&D at this point. Um, it's probably a rather big mistake of mine. As I'm about to shuffle back Jackson, I realized that I cannot power through my deck. Power draw through my deck anymore. Uh, I'll need to slowly draw cards, which means that I see I will get to see less agendas in HQ and that, that he gets common drip tokens, both of which are bad for me. Nothing much else to say here. He continues playing very aggressively on my free open servers. And I finally find an Atlas, so that's very good news. I install it in my very safe secure remote. With an archer defending it, there's no way he's going to be able to enter. Although I suddenly realized that if he has a clone chip or any form of instant tutoring out, he can parasite data sucker a 6 strength archer down to 0. So that was something that I didn't uh, consider when I was playing. Mm, the scoring the Atlas is so huge. It's very, very important. So that I can pull out the mid-seasons and kill him when he next attempts to score an agenda. But first, he hits R&D and scores a 2-pointer, bringing him up to 5 points. Uh, so that's getting worrying because now my mid-seasons is deactivated. With a hostile takeover, he has now 6 points. I cannot mid season him anymore. And he scores the last point to win the game. That is why you should protect RD. Yes. Very important to protect RD always. Um, but even then, in that game, it was a very tough game to play against Anox. Um, I tried to defend RD with an Enigma, it got destroyed pretty quickly. Uh, you just cannot sacrifice Tempo to keep protecting RD. It's really not worth the investment especially against someone running parasites.
Um, you just have to hope for the best, hope that uh, R&D isn't that porous and quickly score an Atlas, an advanced Atlas, so that you can actually punish them once they score an agenda and follow up from there. I didn't manage to do that and I uh, lost handily. Thanks for watching. See you around.